Hey guys, so in today's lecture, we'll be seeing the inverse Z transform. If Z of U of N is equal to U of Z, then we can write inverse of Z, U of Z is equal to UN. Here the RH is valued is called the Z inverse transform, inverse Z transform of U of Z. Now the convolution theorem. If Z inverse of U of Z is equal to UN and Z inverse of V of Z is equal to VN, then z of u of z v into v of z is equal to u n star v n that's equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to n uh, u m v n minus m over here the star is nothing but the convolution product right so let us take a problem Evaluate z inverse of z square divided by z minus 1 into z minus 3 using the convolution method, right? So first we can uh, write this expression in the form of z inverse z inverse of z divided by z minus 1 into z divided by z minus 3, right? So that can be, uh, so what is our u of z? Our u of z is equal to this. So our u of z is equal to z divided by z minus 1. And our v of z is equal to z divided by z minus 3. Right? So what is our z inverse of u of z? We'll find them in individually and keep them aside. So z inverse of u of z is equal to z inverse of z divided by z minus 1, right? What we have seen this expression before. This is nothing but 1 power n, right? So that's equal to u of n. Now, z inverse of v of z, that's equal to z inverse of z divided by z minus 3, what is this? This is nothing but a power n. What is a over here? It's nothing but 3. So 3 power n. That is our vn. Right? So now what will be our z inverse of uh, u of z into v of z? That's equal to uh, un into vn. un star vn. That's equal to summation of m is equal to 0 to n vm oh sorry this is nothing but um into v n minus m theta that's equal to summation of m is equal to 0 to n 1 power n into 3 power n minus m 3 power n minus m. On further evaluation, what do we get? We get 3 power n into summation of m is equal to 0 to n. 3 into minus 3 to the power minus m. So let us expand it. We will keep 3 power n as it is. On substituting the value of m, what do we get? What is the series that we obtain? That's nothing but 1 divided by um, 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 3 cube up to 1 divided by 3 power n. Right? So now we have found a GP. Right? But this is a finite GP. So we are not using the A divided by 1, min uh, 1 minus R's formula. We'll be using A, divide, uh, A into 1 minus R power n plus 1 divided by 1 minus r. This formula for the sum of the series. Right? So what do we get? 3 power n. What is our a? Our a is nothing but 1 into 1 minus r. What is our r? It is nothing but 1 by 3 divided by 1. So it is 1 by 3 to the power. What is our n? n remains n plus 1 right divided by 1 minus r what is r 1 by 3 it's equal to 1 by 3 right 
So on further valuation, what do we get? We get 3 power n plus 1 minus 1 divided by 2. Okay, that's your answer. So let us take another question based on the convolution method. Z inverse of e to the power 2 by z. So over here, z inverse of u of z is equal to z inverse of e power 1 by z. That's equal to 1 by n factorial. Right? So our z inverse of v of z is equal to z inverse of e power 1 by z. That's also equal to 1 by n factorial. So by convolution method, z inverse of u of z into v of z. Why are we taking this? We are just splitting this. In, uh, there are two parts. No? So this, is, this can be written as e of 1 by z into e of 1 by z. That's it. Okay? So our u is equal to e of 1 by z. The function u of z is equal to e of 1 by z. v of z is equal to e of 1 by z. So that's why we are doing it this way. Right? So using convolution method, z inverse of u of z into v of z is equal to summation of m is equal to 0 to n. 1 divided by gamma of n into 1 divided by n minus m the whole factorial sorry this is just n factorial into um, 1 divided by n minus m the whole factorial that is further equal to 1 into 1 divided by n factorial plus 1 divided by 1 factorial into n minus 1 the whole factorial plus 1 divided by 2 factorial into 1 divided by n minus 2 the whole factorial plus 1 by n factorial right so now we'll take the 1 by n factorial outside what do we get when we take that outside we'll get 1 plus n divided by 1 factorial plus n into n minus 1 right n into n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial up to 1. So that is again equal to 1 divided by n factorial into 1 plus nc1 plus nc2 up to ncn. Right? That is equal to 1 divided by n factorial into 1 plus 1 power n. So what is our z transform of e power 2 by z? That's equal to 2 power n divided by n factorial. Right? So final answer.